The story opens with a group of tourists visiting Aokigahara Forest, a dense, eerie forest located at the base of Mount Fuji in Japan. Despite warnings from locals about the forest's haunted reputation and history of being a popular location for suicide, the group ventures into the woods. As they make their way deeper into the forest, the group begins to feel a growing sense of unease. The once bright daylight fades into dim, murky darkness that seems to swallow everything in its path. The silence is deafening, with only the sound of their own footsteps and rustling leaves breaking the stillness. As they press on, strange things begin to happen. Trees seem to move on their own, the wind whispers eerie voices, and shadows dance on the trees. The group starts to realize that they are not alone in the forest. Something is watching them, stalking them, and it's not something human. Suddenly, they stumble upon a clearing where they find a collection of abandoned tents, clothes, and personal belongings scattered around. It becomes clear that this is not just any forest. It's the notorious Aokigahara Forest, also known as the Sea of Trees, the most haunted forest in Japan, where many have gone to end their lives. The group realizes that they are trapped in the forest, surrounded by evil spirits, and must fight for their survival if they hope to make it out alive. The forest seems to have a life of its own, and the spirits that reside within its depths will stop at nothing to claim their next victim. As the group wanders deeper into the forest, strange occurrences happen. The trees seem to twist and contort into grotesque shapes, and the forest itself seems to come alive. The group becomes disoriented and lost, unable to find their way back to the trail. The air around them grows thick with a sense of dread as if something malevolent is lurking in the shadows. They hear strange whispers and eerie sounds that they can't quite place, making their hearts race with fear. The group starts to feel like they are being watched, and they turn to see dark figures darting among the trees. It becomes clear that they are not alone in the forest, and whatever is with them is not friendly. As the group becomes more and more lost, they begin to feel a ghostly presence surrounding them. They hear eerie whispers in the wind and see apparitions lurking in the shadows. Panic sets in as they realize they are being stalked by vengeful spirits. As the night falls, the group realizes that they are not alone in the forest. They come across abandoned tents and belongings left behind by previous hikers. The group starts to uncover the forest's dark history as they realize that the trapped souls of those who committed suicide in the forest may be seeking revenge on the living. The forest has a long and tragic history, with countless individuals committing suicide within its boundaries. The spirits of the dead now haunt the forest, seeking revenge on the living. The group fights to survive as they are relentlessly pursued by the vengeful spirits of the forest. They must use all their wits and strength to evade the ghosts and find a way out of the forest. But as the night wears on, their energy and hope begin to wane, and it seems like they may never make it out alive. The spirits of the forest close in, their twisted forms and malevolent intentions evident as they surround the group. The tourists desperately try to find a way out of the forest, but the spirits seem to be leading them in circles, further and further from the safety of the trail. As the group begins to lose hope, they stumble upon an old shrine deep in the forest. With nowhere else to turn, they make their last stand, hoping that the spirits will be unable to follow them into the sacred space. But as the night wears on, it becomes clear that the spirits will stop at nothing to claim their victims. In a final, heart-stopping moment, the group is faced with a choice, stay and fight or risk everything to make a run for the safety of the trail. As they make their decision, the spirits close in, their ghostly hands reaching out to claim their prey. Will the tourists make it out of the haunted forest alive, or will they become the latest victims of Aokigahara's dark and tragic past? As the group emerges from Aokigahara Forest, they are met with a sense of relief, but their relief is short-lived. The memory of the spirits and their haunting presence lingers with them long after they have left the forest. They find themselves plagued by nightmares and strange occurrences, leading them to wonder if they truly escaped the forest unscathed. In the end, 
they are left with a sense of unease, knowing that the spirits of Aokigahara Forest still linger, waiting for their next victims.